What's good, y'all? It's the receiver teacher back in with another class and session episode. Today, we've been talking about the five main techniques a DB can play you and how to beat all of them, all right? So first up is press coverage. All right, so press coverage is used at the line of scrimmage, obviously, and they're trying to get hands on you to disrupt timing, all right? They want to keep you at the line of scrimmage for as long as possible. So how do you beat that? I'm not going to just come straight at him just like Because you're giving me all this. All my body. Okay. So I'm going to try to make myself look skinny as okay. possible. So, and I'm here. But once I get here, once you get there, I'm going to cut you back off. All right. So as Jerry was saying, you don't want to give the DB your chest because that gives a big surface for him to strike. All right. Instead, you want to do, uh, you know, a blade release, for example, or just reduce your surface. If you haven't watched my video on blade release, make sure you check that out. Another way to beat press is to make everything look the same. All right. So right here. Uh, we got Justin Jefferson on the left working just a one-step release, all right, one-step jab. And then you got Van Jefferson on the bottom doing a double up, all right. So right here, this looks exactly the same, all right, one-step jab, one-step jab. But then he hits him with a double up, all right. So this is an example of, you know, pairing your releases together. You want all your releases to look the same, right. When you're out training, it's not enough to just, you know, go through the motions. You want to be aggressive with the movements, all right, be violent and make everything look the same. All right, so next up is soft press, all right? You can start off in a press alignment, but instead of the DB lunging at you or, you know, trying to get a hand on, he's just going to react to your movement, all right? He's watching your hips and oftentimes just trying to get to a trail position. Now, the key to beating soft press is just resetting the line of scrimmage, all right? Right off the ball, go eat up the cushion, all right? So Murray Cooper does a good job. He's just kind of, you know, skipping forward, all right? He's just inching closer and closer to the DB, and then boom. All right, so eliminate the cushion, reset the line of scrimmage, and make a sudden move, all right? That's the key to being soft press. Now there's off man, all right? So it's, it's man coverage still, but you're just playing off, all right? So you're supposed to, you know, line up at depth and get eyes on the QB's drop, all right? So that's what this DB is doing here. This is example of good technique. You know, in the NFL, they usually do it, but, uh, you know, lower levels, they, they don't do this, all right? But the goal is to look at the drop, and eliminate route possibilities, all right? If they see a one-step drop, they're not going to start backpedaling because they know it's something short like, you know, uh, a slant, a little hitch, uh, speedo, stuff like that, all right? But if they see a, th a three-step drop or more, then they know to backpedal and they know it's a longer developing route, all right? So off man, especially when he has his eyes on, the key is, you know, to move him laterally, all right? Make him chase you. You can use do this by stemming him. You can just stem to get square with them, all right? Give yourself a two-way go. So now you can either go out, in, you can still go over the top, all right? So get square or attack leverage, all right? This is an example. This is Elijah Moore at the opening, um, and he does a great job right off the snap, all right? Don't waste any time and attack leverage, all right? You can either get square or just attack a shoulder, all right? And this forces the DB to do two things. Either he just stays there, all right? Gives up his leverage, and now you can get the inside, all right? Or he can do what this guy did, and he, he's trying to keep his leverage, all right? So now he's off-platform. He's moving side to side while you're attacking him full speed, all right? And now you have a two-way go, and he has to respect that. You can either go in, out. You can still go over the top. You can, you know, break to a post. You can even stop. You can do anything when you're square and you have a two-way go, all right? All right, so this is another example against off-man, all right? This is a perfect example of moving the DB laterally. So right off the ball, Keenan Allen uses a burst stem, which I talked about on my page already, um, a burst stem, all right? So you're bursting inside and then straighten up, all right? Straighten up with the defender, give yourself a two-way go again, all right? So it's that same two-way go we're talking about where it's off man. So if you can move him laterally and force him to chase you, he's off his platform. He's no longer square, and that's when he's vulnerable. So boom. All right, this is what you call a bail defender, all right? You see this a lot in like a cover three, cover four, or even, you know, some corners have had success. Like Champ Bailey, he used to play this zone technique, uh, looking at the quarterback, all right? And he's looking at all the routes develop um, around him, all right? But the key to this right here is the blind spot right here. Same way in a car. Sometimes you can't see shit behind you, all right? Um, whenever, a, uh, whenever a defensive back starts bailing like this and he gives you the blind spot, you want to chase this near hip, all right? Chase the hip closest to you, all right? And threaten him right here where he can't see you. All right, so he's trying to do that. He's threatening with speed. Now, right here, all right, he, he, he no longer see you, all right? He might see you at the corner of his eye, but once you actually get right here into his blind spot, he either has to turn or he's just going to let you, you know, blow by him, all right? It's a perfect example, all right? Bail defender, all right? He's looking at the quarterback, all right? His eyes aren't on you. That's no longer man-to-man, -man, all right? 
So now Des Bryant sees that and he, he threatens the blind spot, blind spot with speed. All right. Now you can see this out the corner of his eyes. Like, oh shit, he's about to blow past me. So now he turns around and he's completely vulnerable. All right. So now you can hit him with like a throw by like he does here. Or, you know, if you do have a fade, all right, just, you know, attack his near hip and then boom, bubble out. And, you know, he has to turn around while you're running full speed. All right. It's just, it's not going to work out for him. All right. So the main key when facing a bail defender is attack the near hip, all right, and threaten his blind spot. Last but not least, we got squat defenders, all right. So this is often seen in like a zone zone coverage or even man-to-man -man with like linebackers. These guys aren't used to being in coverage, all right. So they're all, oftentimes just going to sit at depth, all right, and wait to collision you and then get in a trail position like this guy, all right. So he's trying to collision you, kind of slow you down, throw you off your line, and then he's just in a trail position, all right. So the key right here, be in control, all right. You want to be in control and make your move at range, all right? So right here, this guy comes with a foot fire. Slow it down. Well, foot fire gets under control. Now he's jabbing outside, and he's he's bubbling a little bit, all right? You don't want to get in contact with these guys. These guys are usually linebackers, but bench press the shit out of you, all right? So you want to avoid contact, all right, and then get back on your line. And attack him, all right? Make him chase you. Get him off his platform. Step where you want to go to first, all right? Step where you want to go to first. So he's trying to go right here. He's trying to go to his left. So he's going to step with his left foot first. And then a longer right step, all right? So one short, one long. Step in the direction you want to go to first. Boom, boom. All right, make him overcommit. And now you got all this open space, all right? So again, squat defender. Avoid contact, all right? Make your move at range, all right? Keep, keep the space, all right? And, uh, yeah, don't get hit because you will get bench pressed. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, make sure to smash the like button. Uh, comment any videos you want to see in the future. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, follow us on all platforms at Receiver Teacher. We're just going to keep pumping out the best content we can. And, uh, yeah, all right, peace out.